Bruno Blay. <laughs> Make me sound fancy. <laughs> and the title of his thesis, see if it's well translated, Robust Modeling of Viscous Solid Liquid Mixing in Stirred Tanks via a Euler Lagrange Approach. Under François Bertrand. So my New Year resolution is to look like the guy at figure one, the Terminator. Now you might be asking yourself, well, Bruno, what's the secret recipe? You'll go to the gym or you, you try and CrossFit? <laughs> no, the answer is very, very simple. It's protein shake. I don't know if you've ever tried to drink one of these, but it's a mess. You put the powder in the milk and then you mix it up, but you end up with milk all over the, the counter and then you have a paste of protein floating on top of the milk. It stays there, it mocks you. It's disgusting. Well, this problem that we call solid liquid mixing, it happens all the time in the, in the industry, when we create new medicine, when we create toothpaste, etc. For these industries, poor solid liquid mixing amounts for up to 10 billion in direct costs. These direct costs are due to overconsumption of, en of energy and to waste of products. On top of these, we have what we call cost of opportunity. Cost of opportunity is when you design a product in the lab, but that, that, you, that you cannot manufacture it in a larger scale because of any industrial parameter. For the case of the pharmaceutical industry alone, poor solid liquid mixing leads to up to 10 billion in cost of opportunity. So now you're all wondering, well, Bruno, I mean, it's funny, the muscles and everything, but why is it so complicated? Well, there are two reasons for that. The first one lies in the physics. As you can see in figure two, the flow behind the, even a single particle is highly complex. So imagine 100,000 of these particles interacting at the same time. It's a nightmare. I wake up at night all sweaty thinking about this. The second one is a lot more down to hurt. When you mix particles and you suspend them, the system becomes opaque and you don't see anything, therefore you cannot measure anything. So now you're wondering, well, what is the answer? How can we approach this problem? The answer lies within what we call numerical modeling. It consists in solving the equations of fluid dynamics using computers to predict the quantities that we are interested in, the power we will consume, or the time it will take to blend everything. The problem is that the models right now are not adequate to solve solid liquid flows. So the goal of my PhD is to design a new model that will help us understand solid liquid mixing. The way we proceeded was very intuitive. We asked ourselves, what is the problem with the current models? The problem is that to, to be able to consider a large amount of particle, people use the hypothesis that they behave like a liquid. But look at picture three. Particles are not liquid, they're a very distinctive thing. So our approach was to use simplified solid mechanics law and to track the position of each particle. This is what we call a Euler-Lagrange approach. Well, is it working? We can see in figure four that right now we are very close to matching what we see in the experiments, and now it's just a matter of applying it to industrial processes. The goal here is to be able to design mixing operations that will be more versatile, that will have better yield and will waste less product. This will have an impact on a large amount of industry from pharmaceutical to mining industry. The goal is not only to increase the profit, but to reduce what we waste every day. So my name is Bruno Blais, and I'll be back to talk about mixing. Thank you.